something we just started working on this week, fourth day or something? That, that's true. Uh, uh, that's correct. We, we, me and Coach Powers have been talking about this for yeah. a while, and uh, last week we didn't feel like we were ready to move on to that. This week uh, we, we feel like this is the best opportunity before we get into our district play to try to introduce it to the kids and just see how we how we look and get it on film and coach it up. Yeah. Uh, and what kind of offense is this team going to run? Are they a passing team, running team? They're going to line up in uh, double tight, I formation, and run it right at you. Okay. And uh, I just don't think they're going to match up with us physically. Yeah. they got a good tailback that's pretty big and physical, but their line just doesn't match that. And uh, this is going to be good because really, you know, is it going to lull our corners to sleep? You know, we had trouble stopping the pass in game one. Are our corners going to get uh, beyond disciplined and, and, and start sticking their nose in there? Or are they going to stay, you know, disciplined and stay true to the plan, watch the tight end? We're going to find out. Yeah. Okay, and offensively, what are you game planning for this week? You know we're going to try to uh, we're going to try to run the ball, uh, run the off tackle. Play. We've got a sweep and an off tackle play, and we're going to try to do some of that uh, to just really see if we can control the line of scrimmage like we'd like to. And we're going to go no huddle. Uh, this is something that you know we've we talked about, we practiced. Uh, well, the first two games was hot, yeah. and we just didn't think we could do it. Now we're going to try to do it. We're going to read the we're going to read the defense make the call uh, depending upon what they're lined up in and just see how that, uh, you know, see if that's going to be as effective as we think it's going to be. Okay. So that will be a different look. So a lot of things kind of working right now. I mean, you've got a lot of uh, changes in defense up, uh, trying some guys in some different positions and, uh, and trying some different looks offensively. So it sounds like we're making progress and we're building every week. You know? uh, let's talk a little bit now about our district, the way things are shaping up. Uh, with the group of guys we played. Uh, how did everyone do last week, and how are we stacking up? Well, uh, Rebel keeps rolling. They, they've looked very good early uh, season. We, we, uh, we scrimmaged them in, the, in our jamboree, and uh, uh, they look like they're getting strong. Yeah. So that's going to be a tough game. Uh, Franklin and Tensaw played. You know, Tensaw is, this, is, is ranked number one in the state now right. after they beat Calvary. And uh, Franklin played them tough. Yeah. They really did play them tough. However, uh, you know, Tensaw did beat them 32 to 30. So it looks like we're tough. You know, they're stacking up pretty tough. Right. So we've got a pretty tough history. We, we do. I think we're going to be, uh, it's going to be surprising how good some of these teams are going to be. And, uh, you know, we've got one more tough uh, test next week. And then we're into district play. So we're, we, uh, we better get good quick. Yeah. And uh, now Franklin and Tensaw, was, that was a district game, right? That it was, they choose to play each other twice. Oh. It's just something that they both choose to do. It did not count towards district, but the next time will. Right. Uh, and and the good thing about all this is uh, the eight, you know, the eight man football. One thing I've noticed with it, I've watched a little bit on the internet now. Uh, if you have one or two really superior athletes, and you're getting good games like this, 32-30, that's the difference maker. Absolutely. And uh, you know, I just really hope that uh, Fuad and, and uh, you know, a couple of the other guys really realize that. You know, the offense is on their shoulders, the scoring part of it. I mean, because there's going to be scores in eight man. You know? It's not going to be 66 to 12 to 14 anymore. Absolutely. And those two point conversions are what really, you know, that's what that's the, they said the difference in the game was the two point conversion. You know, uh, Tensaw was hitting them and they weren't. And, yeah. uh, you know, sometimes after a long touchdown run, you know, defensively, you just you kind of got kind of hang your head. Yeah. You can't. You know, that next play. Uh, you've got to look at it more like it's a chance to redeem yourself real quick, and and uh, we've been pretty good at it so far. But uh, you know, it's gonna it's gonna be a big difference. Right. Got to make those. And uh, you know, another good thing about the stretch, I feel like you take two tough weeks. Uh, you know, you're really testing your team's character too. Would you agree with that? I mean, Absolutely. By the time we come home, uh, two long weeks on the road, two teams we have no familiarity with no. at all. I mean, no. we've never never uh, played either. Yeah, you know, new style of football. New places, new faces, uh, nothing familiar about these stadiums. None of the kids have been to them. Uh, you know, it, it's going to be really nice next week to come back home. Uh, <laughs> There's no place like home, yeah. Everybody's going to be really fired up. And, uh, and it's going to be a big game. It's going to uh, be a big game. It's going to be a big game. So we're not going to look ahead yet, but yeah. uh, we're going to try to get better and make sure we're ready for next week. Right. Any other developments you want to share with everyone? I want to uh, thank Bill uh, Shirey. Uh, we, we've bought these uh, fancy jerseys, and we are having a hard time getting the grass chains out. And he uh, he is uh, helping us out right now. And, and uh, I tell you what, uh, if you need some uh, dry cleaning done, please go to Bill Shirey. Uh, they do a great job. And 
just like to thank him for supporting the Rebels and Briarfield football. Absolutely. You know, nothing like bad grass things and expensive jerseys. I'm good. telling you. I'm telling you. <laughs> my wife enjoys uh, uh, that he's taking care of those as well. Right, right. Well, Coach, I wish you the best of luck. And, uh, you know, I encourage people, if they're able, to make the trip up to see to support the team this week. Uh, it'll be a long trip, but uh, I think it'll be well, you know, well worth the drive if you get a chance. And, uh, Coach, once again, good luck. And uh, we'd like to once again and every week thank uh, Lee and Anna and the Lake Province Country Club for hosting our show. Uh, it's a great environment, and uh, you know, they're, they're, they've been real uh, gracious in letting us do this. So, Coach, good luck, and uh, we look forward to seeing you Friday night. Thank you. Good night.